New questions this morning about that explosive Rolling Stone article alleging a gang rape at the University of Virginia. Sparked protests on campus, shut down the school's Greek system, incited worldwide anger, and now Rolling Stone is apologizing for getting the story wrong. The woman in the middle of all has hired a lawyer, and ABC's Lindsay Davis here with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. Over the weekend, a backlash against Jackie on social media sites after holes have been poked in her account. But this morning, even though Rolling Stone is now questioning it, Jackie is standing by her story that she was raped by several young men at a UVA frat house. This morning, a woman at the center of Rolling Stone's story about sexual assaults at the University of Virginia is now reportedly being represented by an attorney. This after the magazine admitted discrepancies in the story of the young woman who went by Jackie. Doubt has been cast on three key allegations. In a statement Phi Kappa Psi fraternity issued late last week, it denies there was a social event at the house the weekend of the alleged rape. The accuser told Rolling Stone her rape appeared to be part of a fall pledging ritual, but the fraternity says initiations only happen in the spring and that ritualized sexual assault is not part of any initiation process. And according to the article, Jackie says she was lured to the fraternity by a member who worked with her at the campus's aquatic center. But according to the fraternity, none of its members worked there at that time. As I kept reporting, it just became clear that other facts, you know, just weren't lining up right. A reporter for the Washington Post interviewed Jackie after the Rolling Stone article came out. He says her statements to him contradicted Rolling Stone's reporting. She said, well, maybe the party wasn't at FISI. And then she told me that maybe the person who attacked her wasn't a member of the fraternity at all. Rolling Stone released a statement Friday seeming to place blame on the accuser, saying there now appear to be discrepancies in Jackie's account. We have come to the conclusion that our trust in her was misplaced. If Jackie intentionally lied about the alleged perpetrator and that perpetrator suffered injury as a result, she could be sued for damages. But Sunday, the magazine revising their statement, saying these mistakes are on Rolling Stone, not on Jackie, removing their misplaced trust line altogether. In response to the Rolling Stone apology, UVA President Teresa Sullivan released this statement. The university remains first and foremost concerned with the care and support of our students and especially any survivor of sexual assault. Lots more to come in this story, Lara. Yeah, Lindsay, thank you so much.